Hello and welcome to the channel Artisans Wear. I am Sajid and today we are going to see include ones and require ones. So let's say as example, uh, it's my index.php file and this is my test.php file. I have declared two variables x and y and I am declaring one function. Okay. So include ones work exactly like include just with the one difference. I explain you. Let's say I am including test.php file and I echo dollar $x dollar $y. It's a scenario. Okay. Now I can use function test as well, which I declared in test.php. Yeah, test. But while developing a web application, there might be a possibility that we need to include same file twice or multiple times in the same file, like this one. It might be possibility that. Uh, sometimes you have some code, some task to achieve and in that scenario you need to include that file twice. So I do it and let's see what happened. It throws fatal error, cannot redeclare test because according to this to include statement function test get reloaded twice. So that's why it throws fatal error so how to handle it so here include once comes in picture just instead of include use include once so what include once does include once includes file one time if they find the same file again then it does not include it again instead it returns true so as I am refreshing it it works okay so requirements is also same just uh, there is one difference between include ones and require ones if the specified file is not found then require ones throws fatal error and stop the execution where include ones just display the warning and execution will continue like this one just warning okay so i hope you understand how to use include ones or required ones if you have any questions please leave a comment below thanks for watching video have a nice day